Thanks for tuning into this episode of the Human Performance Outliers podcast with Zach Bitter. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I find this so interesting because like it is like this, it's almost like the, I mean, I guess it, maybe it makes sense. These diets are, are completely polar opposite and, you know, what makes one really effective at a certain thing is kind of a weakness perhaps on the other, but then there's a trade-off. There's always trade-offs, it seems. So, like, yeah. Uh, and, and I find it interesting too, just in the sense that like, uh, you see ranges even within them too. Like, I mean, take me for example, in 2019, was by far the most kind of animal based centric I was in any, any, uh, like just percentage range. I, I wasn't a hundred percent carnivore by any stretch, but there were phases, fairly long phases that year where I was pushing up close to 90, sometimes 95% of my intake coming from, from animal products. And, and I did get blood work done during that. And I, I stayed in range. I definitely, my, my cholesterol definitely was more in the high side of the, the acceptable range, but I didn't peek over it. And it's, I don't know exactly whether that is just unique to me versus someone else, or if it had something to do with perhaps since I wasn't 100% carnivore, there may have been, you know, the, the small amount of plant products I had was helping with that, whether it be like, uh, you know, fiber, which can attach itself to cholesterol and essentially in and lower that. So one of my big curiosities with this is if you're trying to kind of get the best of both worlds in terms of staying within the medical guidelines of cholesterol, but also kind of get that way you felt on a strict carnivore diet is, is there enough room for some of the food products that will bring the cholesterol down without kind of reintroducing maybe some of the digestive issues or other things that are popping up? And my guess is it's going to be person to person, but, uh, it, it makes me think that like most people are going to be on a spectrum of some plants and some animal products. And depending on who you are, may be dependent on whether you push up to like say 90% animal product versus 90% plant product or something like that. And then there's going to be these like small percentage of folks who just happen to thrive on the very strict stuff. So you get like maybe like 5% of the population or something like that who just happen to feel better when they're completely eliminating animal products and you get folks on the other end of the spectrum who uh, they just got to cut out all the plant products if they want to feel like they can function in a, in a normal, optimal way. And uh, then the majority of people are going to feel, are going to be somewhere in between there. And then it's just kind of like figuring out where you fit in that and, and uh, just taking an honest look at it yourself without, without trying to confound it too much, which is incredibly difficult. <laughs> yeah, totally. So I'm super excited. I'm going to be getting my blood work done again um, at some point soon. And at the moment, I'm on a combination of both with still extremely high animal protein um, or, or just animal food. Um, but I really think that that increased LDL or, or that increased total cholesterol and that increased LDL is because I was having zero carbs. Um, I think that makes a huge difference. So I actually, if I were to, I probably will do carnivore again. Um, but I would be interested to have carnivore with like a little, like maybe like honey or something like that as a little bit of a carb to see how that would impact it. Um, because like I said, I mean, I felt so good on carnivore. Um, my resting heart rate actually went down. My HRV went up. So all indications of my metrics were that my body was operating with minimal inflammation, minimal stress. So the idea that increased cholesterol is causing more inflammation in the body, more plaque buildup, um, you know, within arteries and and cells and whatnot. Um, You know, to me, I was just like, I don't totally see that this is happening. Like I felt fantastic on this. Thanks for tuning into this episode of the Human Performance Outliers podcast with Zach Bitter.